the Leatherman Curl. I was finally able to find this on the used market. And let's take a look at this. This is in like new condition and I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Now the Leatherman Curl has a lot of design cues from the original Leatherman. This is one that was kindly donated to the channel. And when we close up the Leatherman Curl, we can see that the Leatherman Curl and the original Wave, again, look very, very similar. And then when we open them up, Again, you will notice that the curl and the original wave are very, very close in their plier shapes as well. So we notice on the curl that the wire cutters are a little bit longer. The plier head seems perhaps a little bit beefier on the sides, but other than that, they look very, very similar. Now, the, a lot of people have loved the original plier head, and so there will be some that are a huge fan of that. I actually like the replaceable cutters more, but these pliers work great. There's nothing wrong with them, but I do like the extra, extra functionality of replace, being able to replace the cutters and instead of having to send this in to get it repaired if they break. Now, at the bottom here, I suppose, I guess that is a crimper of types, or you could use it as a crimper perhaps at the bottom. On the back here, this pocket clip is really nice as well. This is the T or P2 and P4 style pocket clip, which is very minimal. It doesn't take up much space and does a great job. Now, like any newer Leatherman multi-tool, for a while, you will notice that the pliers are a little bit stiff opening and closing, so it is something you'll have to get used to. On this side of the tool, you have the three-sided file, the diamond file, the bottom cutting edge or grinding edge, and then the side as well. And then on this side, you have the knife. Now, I want to notice two things that are great about the curl and two things, well that are not so great. So one of the things I guess we have already mentioned is I'm really a fan of the replaceable cutters. That's not a huge deal. But the other thing that is a little bit frustrating is this knife is really hard to get out. It is very, very, very stiff. And again, that's probably because this hasn't been used much and it may wear in over time. But just be aware if you get a new Leatherman tool that it may be very stiff. This is definitely not one hand opening right now. So it's, it's very hard to use. But once you get it open, the knife blade is nice. And I love Leatherman's style right there. Definitely a great style. Now, if I was designing a curl just for myself, I would probably have put a pair of scissors on the outside and the knife. Those, I know some people say that's almost like putting new not two knives on the outside, but once you add a pair of scissors, I actually find those are the two tools I use the most on a multi-tool usually, besides the pliers. Uh, the, the pliers, the scissors, as far as an outside tool, and then of course the bit driver if it has one. And the bit driver and the pliers and the knife and the scissors probably actually do come in last, but I do use those a fair amount. All right, so the bit driver we have right here, Leatherman style again, and then there is the combo tool with the wire stripper, the can opener, and the bottle opener. Now, these will not be locking tools on the outside, they are, or on the inside, they are on the outside, but on the inside, they just snap into place, they've got that spring, and I have to say I'm very impressed, they actually feel very, very sturdy. So you have to use a lot of force to close those tools. Now, one of the great positives of this tool, again, is that it finally has an awl. Now, a lot of people have been wanting an awl in their tool, so it finally has that. It also has the nice screwdriver right here as well. And then it has a pair of scissors, and these scissors actually are pretty good. They're, they're not too bad. A lot of people want shears, scissors on your multi-tool, and these are not the sheer scissors, but they do cut through paracord, not in one swipe, but in a couple cuts. So I think they're okay. They're fine for what they're meant for. They're a very small pair of scissors, so they're not meant to cut through sheet metal and logs and steel. 
So overall, the Curl has some great things going for it. It is very pocketable. It is a lighter multi-tool. It doesn't have that extra layer. And that's one of the great things for it. It also is a little bit cheaper in price by like $10 than the original Wave, 10 to 20. But again, you are losing two outside tools. So uh, the price and the weight are two things that are very positive for it. Now the negatives, Again, it's stiff because it's not been worked in. That's a little bit frustrating, and then it is missing that replaceable cutters. So you'll have to decide what is more important for you. I have to say that I do miss some of the smoothness in the Free Series. When I first opened the curl, I thought, oh, I really miss some of that smoothness from my P2 series, and I began to appreciate them a little bit more. This is not a Leatherman free, and it doesn't claim to be, so just be aware of that. This is the Curl, but it definitely has some things that make it worth picking up, and I think it is a great tool. All right, I'll see you in the next video.